Tarzan of the Apes, from the novel by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American gold seal production released by the World Broadcasting System and associated stations. It is incomprehensible to Tarzan that Clayton should try to kill him after he has rescued the party from cannibal. Tarzan does not understand that Clayton was maddened with fever, and so the ape-man returns to his jungle to learn that Takla, a bull ape, disputes his kingship. In a fierce battle, Tarzan defeats the ape and resumes the leadership of the tribe of Kershaw. Meanwhile, the mutineers have landed, attacked the hut, and are carrying Jane away. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. With the color cracking of the shots which Porter fires to attract assistance, carry to Clayton and Philander as they rush through the brush toward the hut. I'll go ahead, Philander. I'm right behind you, Clayton. Go on. Coming up from the headland, Darno breaks into the clearing as Francois drops the bucket of water he's bringing up from the stream. What is it, Francois? It came from the cover and will you Ah, there is Monsieur Clayton. What is it, Clayton? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's Jane. But where? Look, breaking through the undergrowth. Two men, no, three. And they're carrying Jane. I see them. No, no, do not shoot. You are sure to hit Mademoiselle Jane. This way, Gato, Darno. Come, Monsieur. If you come to step nearer, I'll blow our blooming brines out. Now stop kicking, you little sagging cat. Look out, Carlos. She twist herself free. Shoot, Jackal, shoot. With a quick thrust of both feet, Jane twists herself free from snipes and throws herself to the ground. Shoot, look at it. Shoot, Jackal, I'm on the ground. Shoot. <laughs> Give me a hand here, Carlos. I don't want to go. The little cat kicked me. Oh, shoot them, shoot them. Head rain high, we might hit her. You cover them. I am going to work my way around. I'll follow you, Donald. There's too many of them, Spike. Yes, just go around working around on our starboard side. Well, I ain't going without giving this dame here. Uh, cut it out. I've cut it out. They're watching you like a hawk. Oh, are they now? Here you, gal. Hey, Tessa. Oh! Get you? Yes. Right through the arm. Just lie still. Did you get them? Mother is no, no, monsieur. We chased them to the beach. And just as soon as we got there, a long boat pulled ashore, and the rest of their crew joined them, about 15. Then we can expect to come such an attack. Indeed, I am afraid so. We'll have to keep a sharp lookout. And Francois is outside even now. Uh, I'll reload this rifle the professor fired. We might need it. Well, what's your thoughts on? What's the trouble? I heard shots. Oh, Tarzan! What has happened to you? Why... Why, you're all scratched. Nothing. I heard shots. Somebody hurt Jane? Yes. Mutineers came to Jane. Then I go quick. What are them? What are you going to do? Do? Nothing but kill them. Well, uh... uh yes, yes, by Jove. I was thinking the same thing, Philander. What are you talking about? Well, you see, my dear, if Tarzan has been here when Sipes and his crew were carrying you off, well, 
Well, killing them would have been an order. Yes, but to allow Tarzan to deliberately go out and, uh, uh, well, it appears to me almost like an execution. Harmon Ganey, I killed Jane. Now oh, Tarzan killed Harmon Ganey. No, we are not Tarzan. It looks simple, but you see, Tarzan, we can't let you kill them. No, no, Tarzan. If they try to hurt us, to kill us, yes, then it's all right to kill them. But now, oh, no, you can't. Tarzan does not understand. They try to kill you. But you not try to kill them. Well, well, it is rather difficult to explain. But you'll have to take our word for it. Just don't think any more about it, Tarzan. Tarzan, come over here a moment, will you? What is it? Clayton and myself tried to get some meat today, and, uh, well, we didn't get any. Oh, you like me to get meat? Porter? Anything, Tarzan. All right. Tarzan, go now. Where are you going, Tarzan? Tarzan, go get Porter. I'm back quick. Tarzan swings into the trees, the tropic sun, a red ball of fire dips into the sea. Tarzan pauses. His sensitive nostrils search the jungle breezes for the scent of the spore of Horta, the boar. What was that? Tarzan turns and looks toward the sea. There, coming through the brush, are the mutineers. The ape man swings himself silently through the upper jungle terrace. He drops hand over hand till he's almost over them. I tell you, if we go back now, we'll catch a mattock. Get our set shot full of hours, you mean. Well, me for waiting till daylight and getting the rest of the boys off the ship. Ah, oh, you blokes gives me a pain. Have I got to go by myself? Ah, uh, welcome. Well, I ain't crazy about it, but I'll go. Tarzan regards the mutineers through narrowed lids as they turn about and make toward the hut. With never the disturbance of a leaf, he swings his way back over the trail of the upper jungle terrace. A form, blacker than the deepening shadows, Horta the boar darts across the trail. <laughs> Tarzan remembers his promise to Philander. Swiftly, he drops earthward, limb by limb. Horta snarls as the ape man lands squarely astride the broad shoulders. The flashing, gleaming tusk sweeps sideways. Tarzan throws his feet back, grips Horta about the throat. Together, they roll over. Tarzan's knife flashes once, twice, again. Tarzan rises to his feet, faces his foot on the boar's carcass, and raises his head to the skies. What's that? I, I don't know. Don't sound like nothing human. It's, it's, it's that jungle guy that led me through the trees. Let's get out of here quick, tonight. Yes, you're right, King. I suspect what I've said about going to that air up tonight. We're waiting until daylight. Tarzan swings Porter easily across his shoulders and starts for the hut. As he swings his way through the trees, Tarzan tries in vain to understand why Jane and the others should wish to spare these cruel Tarmangani that have tried to kill them. He sees the light shining out into the clearing, and his heart beats faster as he drops to the ground before the hut. Jane! Jane! Oh, that's Tarzan! Jane! I'm going out! Oh, be careful! I be won't careful. go! I won't go away! And anyway, I'm quite safe with Tarzan! See, Jane? Tarzan, come back quick! Yes, Tarzan. And I feel much safer with you here. Can't you stay here, Tarzan? Tarzan does not understand white men. What do you mean? What made you say that? Clayton said, Tarzan not killed. But you call them mutineers? Mutineers? Yes, mutineers. But in Clayton's head is a thought to kill Tarzan. Oh, no. No, I'm sure not. Oh, yes. Tarzan ape. But ape not fool. Manu is fool. White men like Manu. Think one thing now, then forget and do another thing. You don't think much of a Tarzan, do you? Tarzan loves Jane. Be friends with others because Jane likes them. But Tarzan sees, sees white men kill for no reason. My people, the beasts of the jungle, always have reason for killing, for food, to keep others from killing them, and to protect their... I, I have no words for it. Their Jane. You mean to protect those that they love? Yes. Tarzan, kill other men before they come back. But it's wrong to kill in cold blood. Tarzan's blood hot. He sees Sheeta try to kill Jane. He kills Sheeta. Tarzan does not know why he should kill good Sheeta and not kill bad 
white man. Well, I give up, Tarzan. I think your logic is better than ours. The difference between us is that we are bound by a lot of man-made laws, and you answer only to the laws of God. That's the difference between law and justice. Tarzan does not understand too many new words. The difference is that white men have the mind of Manu, and Tarzan has the mind of Tarzan. <laughs> oh, Tarzan, you are delightful. And as usual, right. James, uh, I, I wish that you would come in, dear. I'm worried when you are out there after dark. I'm coming, Daddy. I must run along in. Daddy's pretty sick, and we can't let him worry. Tarzan stole Munga Village for arrows. Come back quick. But that's a long way. It took us two days. White men move like Kota. Tarzan, go quick. Come back quick. Oh, but I, I hate to have you go, Tarzan. You don't have to leave at once. Jane like Tarzan. Stop. Jane like talk. Yes, Tarzan. That's it. The jungle blackness closes in. Jane and Tarzan, oblivious to everything, oblivious even to the tax that the mutineers are plotting, seat themselves on a fallen log. Except for the jungle noises, all is quiet. And in that companionship that requires no words, Jane and Tarzan, silent, watch the water shimmer in the silver moonlight. Jane, I love you. Pirates have been routed for the moment. But what new brand of deviltry will daylight bring? Will the pirates...